Kissing the Stone is infamous. <laughs> Come on, give me your Irish dance. A part-time, non-remote travel couple based out of Nashville, Tennessee. In 2021, we visited all 50 U.S. states. 2022 took our adventures abroad. Now we've set out on a journey to see as many of the 1,000 places to see before you die. Well, before we die. In our last video, we were in southwestern Ireland, driving the scenic Ring of Kerry, where we explored 15th century castles and ruins, discovered beaches that were unlike anything we had ever imagined, and took a sunset stroll through the Gap of Dunlow. This week, we're in Cork. Anytime that we travel to a destination where we don't speak the language, we always do our best to learn at least a few key phrases as a sign of respect for the local culture and as a way to lessen the language barrier. And we'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Babbel, for helping us do just that. Babbel is one of the top language learning apps in the world, and with lessons designed by real language teachers, Babbel can help you start having practical, real-world conversations in a new language in as little as three weeks. We've been using Babbel for the last 10 months or so to help us prepare for many of our international trips. And we're currently preparing for a trip to the Christmas markets in Germany. So I've been learning all of the important phrases like wir möchten bitte zwei Glühwein, diese Lebkuchen ist kuschlich, and frohe Weihnachten. Great job, sehr gut. <laughs> German's hard for me, guys. <laughs> Personally, I love the Babbel's lessons are broken up into small, manageable portions. So I don't get overwhelmed with the amount of information presented at one time, which makes it much easier to retain the information from each lesson. Plus, with the short lessons and daily reminders sent through the app, I'm much less <laughs> likely to come up with an excuse for why I can't do the lessons that day or forget to do them altogether. Another reason we love Babbel is because they offer multiple different subscriptions from one month plans all the way up to lifetime plans and everything in between. So you can choose the plan that is best for you. Plus, they include a 20 day money back guarantee so you can try it out risk-free. And with the new year right around the corner, there's no better time to start accomplishing your language learning goals than now. So whether you're preparing for an international trip like we are, or you're just wanting to try something new, then click the link down below to get 60% off of your Babbel subscription and let us know in the comments what language you want to learn. Thanks so much to Babbel for sponsoring this video. Welcome, Welcome to Cork. Cork. This is the seventh and final video in our Ireland series, and we can't believe that our time in this beautiful country is coming to an end. Yeah, it is honestly flown by, but we have loved our time here, but we're not quite finished yet. Today we're in the city of Cork, which is the second largest city in the Republic of Ireland and is also the food capital of the country. So you know what I'm going to be trying to get into today. <laughs> we're getting a little bit of a late start since we had to drive over from Killarney this morning, which was an adventure in itself. Thought it was. <laughs> so we're not going to be able to do everything that we wanted. So be sure to check out our blog for a full itinerary and list recommendations. We're starting things off just outside the city at one of Ireland's most famous attractions, the Blarney Castle. Let's go. So I think we're gonna start with the Blarney Castle because yep. if you don't know, kissing the stone is infamous. <laughs> so I is. don't know how long the line's gonna be and getting up to it, it's actually really... It's up there. It's really tall, so I think it might take a little while for us to <laughs> get up there. There are tons of gardens and walking paths that we're gonna try to do some of later, but first things first. <laughs> some bread so I could feed my family. Help me. Let's go. We got to go all the way up there. This line is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. 
it's a very narrow spiral staircase with very small stairs, but it's easy because the line moves pretty slow so you don't get too winded. <laughs> Uh, I, need to pucker up. I know. I got chapped lips. Pucker I don't want to be. Cup. I don't want to make a bad impression on the Blarney Stone. <laughs> getting close we're getting there maybe about 30 more minutes <laughs> i don't think so we're at the top now 15 yeah probably 15. okay <laughs> So if you're watching this or planning a trip to Ireland and wondering why the Blarney Stone, then you're not alone because we felt the exact same way when we were planning our trip. There are tons of legends and everybody debates which one, if any, are actually true. But it is said that if you kiss the Blarney Stone, you will gain the gift of eloquence. I've also heard that eloquence word replaced with the gift of Irish gab. I don't know which one's true, but we're gonna go do it. about time. Oh, I'm taking uh, notes. I'm ready. Hold the guys behind you. Put your head back. It's the bottom stuff. It's the bottom stuff. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> 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 you went down far, dog. <laughs> 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 Alright, let me get you doing it. What if I pass out? Okay. I'll try to grab it. Alright, yeah, you, what do you mean try <laughs> to grab me? Like this? Where's the other Stay one? Left, yeah, oh, God. Head back. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, it's so high. <laughs> you better get me, dude. Thank you. I'll make sure to tip. I did it. Thank you. Appreciate you, Doug. Cool as a cucumber. Thank you. I didn't even sweat. No big deal. Oh my god. I'm legitimately sweating. You didn't really have time to think how scared you were, did you? Until I saw the ground. Oh yeah, no. He grabbed me. He pulled me back up. I did it. You did it. All right. Piece of cake. <laughs> okay, now that I've calmed down, it was really cool, but you definitely have to go like back bend oh, yeah. a lot farther than I thought you were going to have to. I told the guy, I said, you better catch me, sir. <laughs> so I made sure to tip because he did catch me and pulled me back up. Yeah, you don't realize they're like, and it's the bottom stone and you keep going and going. You're like, oh, it's way down here. And then, yeah, you literally are upside down and you see the ground. So yeah, totally so, recommend yeah. though. It was it's, really fun. It's a neat experience. Yeah. <laughs> There are a lot of stairs going <laughs> down. I don't remember this many stairs. Well, because you took them so slow. I really well, did take them slow. Like not you, but you have to. Yeah, you had to. There's a lot of like little rooms that I highly recommend checking out. <laughs> So they do take photos when you're up kissing the Blarney Stone. Yep. Mine were so unflattering because I was freaking. Out. I was I was just concentrated on doing it right, and Natalie was like, Ugh. I said, no, ma'am, we're not buying those. And she goes, okay. I purchased them behind your back, you so I'm making them free. Not. Oh my gosh, they were rough, and they only take two. So, anyways, we're gonna go check out the gardens real quick. Right up there is where you kiss the stone. The Poison Garden. Let's go see if we can pick some. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I will not be eating any food or drinks that Natalie makes me in the near future. <laughs> I'm just joking. Dead. Uh, if you dry the leaves of this plant, it is the biggest killer in the plant kingdom. Wow. <laughs> They're beautiful, so I probably have them in my garden. So 
so this place is really, really cool. I love yeah. the poisonous garden. I think that was like a really special touch. Yeah, it's really neat. I don't, I've never experienced one of those before, so it was mm -hmm. kind of neat seeing some plants that you actually knew of and not knowing they had any kind of poisonous attributes. Yeah, but. pretty wild. <laughs> but we've spent like two and a half hours here now. Yeah, almost and, three. And only gotten to touch not even a quarter of what the grounds have here. There you are so truly, many other gardens. And, oh yeah, you truly yeah. could spend like a full day here. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Now, if you're just coming to do the Blarney Stone um, and Blarney Castle, you're still probably gonna need to allow probably <laughs> two hours, I would say. At least, because the line is even longer than it was when we started. Mm -hmm. And I think we were in line about an hour. So, so definitely get here early and be prepared to spend a good amount of time. Yeah, that said, I am starving and we're gonna go check out a historic market in the city center called English Market. Let's go. English market, but we were so hungry, we just went straight <laughs> upstairs. We will explore the English market a little bit later. Yep. But what I love about this restaurant, it's called Farmgate Cafe, and they source all of their ingredients from right down below at the market. So our waitress was just telling me that the fish chowder that I ordered that they're known for is sourced from the fish market that's one of the main fish markets here. And she said something about the queen. Yeah, so the queen tried this a couple years ago and it was queen approved. So yeah. if oh. the queen is eating this chowder, <laughs> Matt's definitely eating this chowder. But I just love that they literally treat the downstairs market as their... Grocery store, pretty much, yeah, right? Yeah, it's, it's their market. It's their garden, essentially. Menu items change very regularly here because it's whatever's available in the market and whatever's in season, so very cool. I'm really excited to eat. Yeah. I ordered the... <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Speaking Ooh, of... <laughs> fancy. I got a cordial. I've been reading Anne of Green Gables, and she had a cordial in it, and so I really wanted a cordial. Elderberry. Yeah. Cordial. Elderflower. Oh, what? I thought it was elderberry. I think it was elderflower. Oh, even fancier. <laughs> oh my gosh, I like it. She it's like a, she it's said like it a was sweeter like a, sparkling water. She said it was like a... Um, she said like a gin and tonic without the gin. Yeah. But I've never had said. a gin and tonic, so I didn't so know what that this meant. This is a tonic. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Isn't that nice? That's really nice. It was 20 cents more than a Coke, and I thought, this is fancier. Let's go for that's it. That's really nice, actually. So I ordered the roasted free-range chicken with roasted potatoes and a roasted vegetable. Yeah, so. I just asked her pretty much what she recommended. Without a doubt, this is what she recommended. So roasted chicken and dressing sandwich, and I also got, as I said, their chowder on the side. Prices here are very reasonable, I feel mm -hmm. like. And you get a view. Excellent. Our sweet waitress gave me an extra spoon so I could try it. Really good. Mm. I like Creamy, it a lot. fresh fish. Mm -hmm. oh, the seasoning, I am in heaven. Chicken is delicious. The stuffing has some nice herbs and seasonings. And then the house made mayo that they put on there mm. is absolutely delicious. Very good. Mm, this chicken is delicious. <laughs> Our waitress was saying that their stuffing is very breadcrumb based and oh my gosh. More crumbly and crispy mm -hmm. almost at times. Everything's amazing. Local. So how is that thing for you? It is It's amazing. As I say, the I stuffing is like. so good. Chucky. You're the best. I know. <laughs> like working in <laughs> Oh my gosh. I love Ireland and their people are just amazing. Yeah. So, all right, we're going to dive in. We're fans if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Lunch hit the spot. It was so good. It did. It lived up to all of our expectations. Now that we are not starving, we can now go explore the English market since we won't be tempted to buy everything. Maybe just a couple of things. A couple of things, but not everything. <laughs> the only sample left in this place, I think. I'm not hungry at all, but looking at all this amazing food. Oh, so I'm gonna share it with you. Oh. What is it? No idea, but it's good. No idea, but it's good. Now this bread here, guys. Uh. So 
Everybody talks about this place. It's called ABC or Alternative Bread Company. It's gonna be hard not to leave with a loaf. <laughs> but in the meantime, we're gonna have a tart. It's nice. Berries are very tart. Balanced nicely by the sweetness of the custard. Mm, very good. Like Matt said, the dough is cooked to perfection. I would buy about 100 of these. It's so good. Let's see what other treats we can buy. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> I could literally stay all day here. different than anything I've ever had, I think. It's from buffalo milk. That's good. It had a tang on the front end, like a funk, and then it kind of had a normal, like, aged cheddar kind of thing. Really good. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this is probably one of our favorite food markets that we've ever been to. It's absolutely incredible. We love everything about it. And it's been open since 1788, so that's pretty cool. But now we're just gonna go roam the streets of Cork and see what we can get into. If you're from here, let us know. Do you press this button? Because it looks like a lot of people... I hit it and that sound <laughs> happened. That's why it scared me. It looks like a lot of people. You thought you blew the horn. I thought I did. Do you hit that or is it like... I don't know. So just let us know in the comments. Thanks. Because Matt said, it's people like you who think that they're pressing the button, but not really. The light's on. I don't know. Then you got these buttons. of St. Finbar's Cathedral. I think I'm saying that correct. If not, correct me down in the comments. It was built between 1865 and 1879. So let's go check it out. Right before they close, they'll just let you see it. <laughs> they were supposed no. to be open according to Google Maps for another 30 minutes. <laughs> I think they're closing early and I think they, they have just... like a little performance because some people were singing in there and it sounded beautiful. But that was really, really pretty. Yeah, yeah, it really was. And like glass. I said, they were super sweet and let us like pop in for like three yeah. to five minutes just so to see it. <laughs> thank you. On to the next. keep saying that I got the gift of talking junk and not the gift <laughs> of said, eloquence she, or the gift of gab. She didn't kiss that stone right. Something else happened. I don't know where. You kiss a different stone or a different part of it. And now I just it's love just giving them a hard junk, time. Junk, junk, junk. <laughs> I do love complaining and giving a hard time. That's my favorite thing to do and I just got better at it today apparently. <laughs> apparently so. Yay for me. We got postcards for our patrons. We want to thank every single name right here. You guys are amazing, and we wouldn't be able to do this channel without you. Absolutely not. And if you're interested in supporting our channel in a greater way, check out our Patreon page. We'll put the link for that down in the description. We would absolutely love to have you in the Patreon family. Now we're gonna go check into our hotel room. Also have 
have their own water. <laughs> Look at that branding. Yeah, the art on the water bottle is actually the front of the hotel. Oh my gosh, how cool. I don't want to drink it, but I need to because I'm dehydrated. <laughs> Matt did not tell me that our whole bathroom was made of marble. I feel fancy. Please look at this. I mean. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is a soft bed. <laughs> so we're staying at the Metropole Hotel, which is located right here in the middle of everything. I mean, you can practically walk anywhere in the city that yeah. you want to get to. Also, it's one of the oldest properties in all of Cork. They just celebrated their 125th anniversary. And I think that the elevator is one of the oldest in all of Ireland, which is super cool. <laughs> but you guys always ask us where we're staying during our travels. And since we're staying at such a beautiful and historic property we figured we'd share it with you guys and we'll put links for it down in the description so now we're gonna freshen up before we hit the town this evening <laughs> So we actually got a call on our phone and it was like, hey, we actually have an upgrade available. And of course we're gonna be like, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so we got another so, room. Yeah, they upgraded us to a bigger and even better room. It has a living room, a walk-in closet back there. This is great. Yeah, beautiful place. All right, so now we're gonna freshen up. <laughs> See you soon. decided to start our evening at the hotel bar, which is the Met Bar, because we heard they have excellent cocktails, and I think we heard right. Definitely heard right. <laughs> I was trying to get a third sip third. in. <laughs> She's already had two off camera. <laughs> this one is really good, and I honestly, I haven't even tried mine yet, but I wish I would have gotten this. A, the coupe. I always love drinking anything out of a coupe, but it tastes so good. We've decided that Natalie needs to just order drinks based off of what drink, like what glass What glass it in. comes in. So now I'm gonna ask from now on, which one comes in a coupe? <laughs> That's what I want. This is phenomenal. It looks simple, but the flavors are so complex. This is supposed to be like deconstructed daiquiri. I don't know. I mean, it looks deconstructed. When I think of a daiquiri, I don't think of this. This is like elevated, amazing. Okay, so Matt's was the clarified daiquiri. Kinsale spice rum, lime syrup, and milk. Milk. Whatever this is. I thought he was gonna yell at me, but I didn't take a sip. I didn't. So let me try mine. Okay, we are not cocktail connoisseurs, so please do not come for us. Okay. Mine is amazing. So I got it because it was called the Pink Gin Fizz. Anything with pink and fizz, I'm about. Oh my God, Matt. Honestly, it's phenomenal. I thought I was gonna have to trade Matt, but I wanna keep mine now. So let's make Matt try it. That's very good. I like that a lot. And I made sure to start my straw at the top and drink all the way to the bottom so I didn't get any of one flavor too much. Very nice. Okay, so those cocktails were actually really, really good, <laughs> especially for something that I would never order. Oh yeah, same for me. I, it's not a drink I've ever had or would have ordered <laughs> without his recommendation, but I'm glad he did recommend it. Also, when I went to the restroom in the lobby, I realized that they had a tea room, <laughs> a full-on room for tea. And if I would have had time, I mean, we would definitely be having afternoon tea here. Any kind of hotel that has a tea room is a hotel for me. <laughs> but now we are off to see if we can find some good Irish trees traditional music or trad music. Okay, so we got here a little late, so they don't have any seats by the live music, but she said if anything opens up that we would be the first people that she would tell. So we'll see. As you can hear, it's lit. We can't see it though, but we're still gonna have a good time. Did you see how high her legs went? They went 
<laughs> but a lot faster. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I know we can't see it from where we're sitting, but it was still pretty cool. Matt didn't get to see it at all. He was guarding our food. But our food did come, and I got the spice bag, which I didn't know what a spice bag was until coming to Ireland. Essentially, it's loaded fries. They have like crispy chicken strips, some kind of mayo, oh, taco mayo is what they call yeah. it, and peppers and onions and tomatoes and all that good stuff. I got chips. <laughs> New friends! <laughs> we got a table, so let's go. My first Murphy. Very nice. That was absolutely <laughs> epic. I am so glad that we got to see Irish dancing. Yeah, it was incredible. And I know this place is somewhat of a touristy spot, but we still enjoyed oh, it so much. Yeah. And it was an excellent way to wrap up not only our day in Cork, but to wrap up this entire Ireland series. Honestly, we've absolutely fallen in love with Ireland and it, we had such a magnificent time road tripping around. Yep. We are so excited to come back in 2023 with a group of you. And if you guys have any recommendations for Cork or Ireland as a whole, let us know in the comments. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please remember to hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button if you wanna join us on our journey to see as many of the 1,000 places to see before you die. Before, before we, we die. die. <laughs> and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on a single video. And we'll see you guys on our next adventure. Come on, give me your Irish dance. You're gonna pull something. I see what she only did one dance every like seven. Every seven? What's that? Every seven songs. Oh. <laughs> she was skinty too, so I get it. Maybe I should take up Irish dancing yeah. as a hobby. Now, let's go get an uh, ice cream cone. An Irish ice cream cone. <laughs> First generation Canadians oh, yeah. you met at Blurry yeah. House. There we go. <laughs> I must be immune because I don't feel anything. Well, not yet. I didn't feed you. <laughs> <laughs> did I get you? Yeah, you did. <laughs> don't be doing stuff like that in public. All right, what was I saying though? Oh, I don't know. Before we got our drink, I'm not gonna say anything like exciting. Do you know what I mean? Everything you say is exciting. So. Can you say that louder into the camera? Everything you say is exciting. Did Natalie. you guys hear that? No, wrong one. Arm this. this oh, 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 sorry, sorry, like this. Father Matthew? That's me. I guess this is where I'm sleeping. This is an office reference if you guys don't know. The TV show, yeah. What a cute bench. Thanks, that's my bed. It's actually a lot bigger than it seems. Look at this. He fits perfectly. It's bigger than what you have at home. That's true. And it's softer too. <laughs> People are gonna think you're for real and that I'm the worst. <laughs>